Get out of there. Woo. Oh my god, look at that. Did you see that? Hold on now. Hold on now. What was that? Ah! Hey everyone, before today's video starts, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also ring the bell so you never miss any of my videos. And if you do that, comment down below hashtag aviator squad. Now enjoy the video. So, as most of you know, Quincy's a little bit of a loosey goosey. If you don't know what I mean by that, I mean he's got a lot of women that he's dating at one time. And I think it's about time Quincy makes a little bit of a commitment. Is that right, Quincy? He's gonna try to land himself a girlfriend. That is right, Quincy. He's gonna settle down and choose one woman to be his girlfriend? I don't know why he said that like it was a question because that's what's happening. But before we get into this video, don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe and turn those notifications on if you're new. If we get 750 likes on this video, you'll have another episode tomorrow. If not, I'm gonna just take the day off and uh, I don't know, eat Cheetos, drink Mountain Dew. It's gonna be a fabulous day. But if we do more videos for you also since the holidays are pretty much right around the corner i was thinking about making merch if you guys have any ideas of something you would want on a t-shirt let me know in the comments okay quincy i get it i know enough shameless plugging let's get started so here's the thing we're working on right now as you can see we have another episode of residency of the heart that we're gonna be starring in tomorrow morning and what we gotta do is develop our charisma skill re uh, research some more flirty emotions and develop a friendship with the director now i mean we're gonna get this all done pretty easily and then hopefully get promoted in the acting career and then fire our talent agency i'm sick of them they're mean to us but it looks like quincy's having a lot of fun i mean he really enjoys talking to himself in front of the mirror now uh quincy's a three-star celebrity and he's been thinking who he wants to be his girlfriend who's gonna be there for quincy as he rises to fame if we look at the girls that he's been talking to we got Brittany, vanessa holly ira and then Dirk. <laughs> now Quincy also really likes Judith. Judith is like Quincy's mega crush, but she's just too famous. Like he can't even really talk to her yet. Now I think we gotta invite Brittany over because Brittany's someone we really haven't had chances to really get to know on a more intimate level. So once Quincy makes friends with his director, we're gonna invite Brittany over to see if she could be maybe the one. Hurry up, Quincy. Finish this so we could get to the, the love making. He is calling his director now. Now, we don't know if it's a woman or a man. Last time it was a woman. Let's see who it is this time. Oh, it's this girl, Ira. I mean, I feel like we're already kind of friends. Am I right? It looks like she's not very happy to be here. I'm sorry, Ira. And complete. We're now friends with our director. Why are we waving like that? Ready Quincy, large, don't do that. I don't know who this girl is, but she showed up to our house really angry, and now she's leaving really angry. Bye, lady. Okay, so now that we kiss our director's butt, let's invite Brittany over to see if she's the one, Quincy. You know what we could do? Like a bachelor type of show where we have all three girls in one house fighting for Quincy's love. Wait. No one steal that. That's my show idea. Quincy, we're going to be rich and famous. But Quincy just called Brittany and she said she's on her way over. So now we just gotta wait. Oh God, there she is. Brittany, whoa, whoa, whoa. She just walked in the house. She didn't even knock on the door. And she's doing our dishes? Wow. I mean, Quincy, I'm not sexist, but someone that does your dishes, that's someone you might gotta lock down, my friend. Let's get to know Brittany a little bit more, okay? On a more friendly level. Yeah, we could just woohoo her there right away, but what's that going to do? So let's rave with her and, and then maybe go to the more romantic side, flirt a little bit, you know, get to know her on that romantic level. We just learned she's outgoing, which is great because Quincy's also very outgoing. Okay, Quincy, we gotta work this flirt angle. Who is this dude? He does doesn't even live here. I don't know why he's in our conversation. This is gonna be really awkward for him, but <coughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> what are you doing here, dude? Dude, we gotta tell this guy to get out of here. He's making the vibes like super awkward. <laughs> What's this girl doing here now? Who's this? Why are all these people showing up? Leave my house. You're late to inviting the cast over, okay? Just, just leave, for God's sakes. I didn't know our house was a stupid open invitation any dummy that wants to come by. I mean, I know Brittany looks like she could be old, but that's just her hair color. She's actually just an adult, so she's only a few days older than us. So, I mean, I think she could be an interesting suitor because she is also a four-star celebrity, which is a, is a beneficial thing to Quincy and love. No, Quincy's not using Brittany. Stop accusing us of things. Ooh, we just learned that Brittany is single and she's ready to mingle. 
I think we have to take this conversation to the bedroom because the, you know, I mean, we've had we've had relations with Vanessa. We've had relations with Holly. You know, we got we gotta have relations with everybody before we make a decision. You know? Oh my God! Oh, it's first person. I'm looking with my head all the way turned around right now, and this is first person with with uh oh God, Brittany. Oh, get out of here! Get out of there! Oh my God! Look at that! Did you see that? Hold on now. Hold on now. What was that? Ah! Where's Quincy's head? Oh my god. Okay, enough of that. That's gonna give me nightmares later. So it looks like Quincy and Brittany are hitting it up pretty well. Not gonna lie. I mean, she could definitely be in the finals for who's going to nail Quincy as a husband. Obviously, him and Holly get along really well. She's a B-lister. Vanessa is just a notable newcomer. Brittany is that four-star proper celebrity, though. But I'm gonna tell you something about Judith. Like, Quincy really likes Judith. This is such a tough decision, Quincy. I'm not gonna lie, buddy. I don't want to have to make this decision for you. They do seem to really get along. My God, you can't separate these two. Let's give them a nice passionate kiss, a sexy pose. Um, you know, we're feeling very flirty. Whoa, Quincy's the man with the with the kissing. I don't know what it is. I just feel creepy because I'm like watching this all unfold and, and talking about it. <laughs> and Quincy's over here living it. I mean, does she deserve the uh, key to our house? That's that's a thing, okay? It's like, does she deserve the key to Quincy's house and the key to Quincy's love? Should we ask her to be our girlfriend? That's the question. I don't know. I, it's tough. I mean, she's famous, but are we attracted to her? It's something with the gray hair. She just looks like she could be like, I don't know, late 50s, early 60s. And Quincy's pretty young. Let's ask her to hype us up because that would be good. Okay, it looks like Brittany is hyping Quincy up on social media. This is perfect. Okay, let's ask her to get out of here just for now because we need to start thinking a little bit if we're going to try to make this official. She's acting like we're killing her or something. We're just telling her to leave. Oh, I forgot. We won another award. We should put that up in our house. Uh, this one's golden, which makes it a lot better than, than this other one. Ah, look how accomplished we are. So Quincy's feeling pretty flirty. We should contact our PR agency and see if there's any parties going on. Let's get on a celebrity's guest list and go to an A-lister party. Of course we don't get to go along to the party. I'm stuck here waiting for Quincy to get back. I heard you became friends with Ira Cooper. She's pretty cool. Yeah, Vanessa, do you know if she's cool or not? You're just a newcomer. But I'm not gonna lie, Vanessa's pretty sweet, and I mean, maybe she'll make a good girlfriend. I'm just not sure, I'm so confused. There's so many choices. How are you feeling, Quincy? It's your new friend, Judith Ward. Man, you sure know how to party. Don't worry, no paparazzi were around. Us celebrities have to look out for each other, right? Hit me up sometime. <gasps> what? That's Squizzy's dream girl. What, Judith? We can't hit you up because you're not in the phone. <gasps> She's right here. We can invite her over to our house. Ah, it's not letting me. It's making us go to bed. Maybe we're just too drunk. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I forgot to do this this episode. There we go. Quincy's peeing. This is another bathroom shot. Riveting content. Ooh, there's the flush. And the hand wash. Good job, Quincy. Oh my god, it's raining outside. I mean, does it not snow here? Because it is winter and we really haven't had any snow yet. It would make sense if it didn't, you know, snow here because this is LA. But now it's 7 in the morning and Quincy has his gig very, very soon. So we need one more bathroom shot because why not? And then we need to eat some leftovers. It doesn't feel very safe to go outside right now. There's like intense lightning and thunder. I just feel like they're asking for someone to get electrocuted and die. We have work in 15 minutes, Quincy. You gotta stuff your faces, stuff it quick. I was wondering what was with Quincy all day and I just saw that he's scared of thunderstorms. Dude, like why? Like, look at this, he's tense from being scared. Hopefully this doesn't affect his acting performance. And we just got some more royalties, almost $3,000 worth. Ah, and we're all ready to shoot this doctor show again. Okay, so it's time for Quincy to perform his scene. So what we're gonna do, since we're actually feeling pretty tense, is we're gonna do a risky shout of forbidden words. I mean, I don't know why we would yell at a patient with forbidden words, but I mean, let's do it. I'm really believing this, Quincy. This is looking good. Now the patient we just yelled at is gonna get treated by the doctor who just yelled at him. This is, this is great. Uh oh, this seems very dangerous. He looks sick. Oh, that was such a good scene. Whoa, we get to flirt with a girl on set? We've never done this before. <laughs> Nubu. 
Oh. Wow, look at this. Quincy is just like really just choosing the ladies today. Time for a risky kiss scene, Quincy. Pull this off. I know you've never done it with a girl before, but let's try it here. Uh-oh. Will this work? It's risky. Whoa. Whoa. That's all I got to say about that, Quincy. That was a good job. Now, if this death scene goes well, we should get a gold performance here. Yeah, come on, Quincy. You can pull this off. You know how to die. You've done it before. This isn't very good. Why are you just laying slowly to the ground? Ah, oh, boy. This is, oh, that was pretty bad. But we get the gold. Yay, Quincy. Wow, we made $3,110 and earned some decent fame. We were promoted to seasoned thespian. Quincy has been promoted to seasoned thespian. New additions have become available. So here's some of our auditions. This one, the treasures of Ar Ar Arbyville? Arabyville? Pays up to $6,500. That's the biggest gig. Ooh, of tea and treachery pays $6,400. Tournament of Honor pays $6,400. Oh my God, if we can do good on some of these, we can make a lot of money. Let's do the tor uh, Tournament of Honor. We need a seven charisma skill for the audition. What do we currently have? Six, and we're almost there to seven. Well, Quincy's watching TV. I think he's had enough for today. But guys, this is where we're gonna end this episode. Yeah, I know, Quincy, you're a little upset. But if this video gets 750 likes, you'll be back tomorrow. And also, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with the daily adventures of Quincy. And until next time, remember to take it easy. Leave it squeezy.